Very interestingly, last week, uh, we showcased a Marico ad on the cover page of Impact magazine as part of our print story. And here I am, sitting with the Chief Marketing Officer of Marico, Soma Shri Bosavasti. Hi, it's my pleasure to be joining you here today. Thank you for joining us on Head Turners by Impact and Thank E4M. Uh, you know, the reason I brought up the Sephola ad is because it truly reflects our lifestyle today. Uh, for the benefit of our viewers, uh, the ad said, Salad on World Health Day and back to roadside junk today. You know, I want to know from you, uh, you know, are you also guilty of doing something similar? <laughs> Absolutely, which is why, uh, you know, working on brands like Safola just give you a bit of a reality check and I ensure that it is a part of my kitchen. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> You know, you know, Sephora ads in the past have always been lighthearted and yet has managed to convey the message, you know, a strong message. Uh, this time you've gone a step ahead and you've actually collaborated with four TV channels and Ronit Roy. Tell us about what you're doing for uh, World Heart Day. Yeah. So actually, Sephora has always stood for, you know, heart health for over decades. So it's not the first time that we are doing something like this. And uh, it's a legacy that hence we are carrying on. But then every year we try to bring in a new message for the consumers and bring in those small things that you can do to take care of your heart, right? And recently we uh, spoke to, we normally, you know, when we do these activations, we speak to experts, doctors. And a recent discussion with some of the doctors told us that there is a recent study that has been done wherein if you take 50 steps a day, as in, you know, you climb four flights of stairs mm -hmm. every day, uh, you actually reduce the risk of heart diseases by 20%. Okay. We said wow. it's a massive, massive, um, you know, simple way. I mean, very, very simple way, which if every human in India just, just takes it up, mm -hmm. the risk of heart disease comes down like that. And it's so simple. So that's what we said that Safola being the brand which stands for goodness of heart should take that up as, you know, something that we have to drive awareness about and hence the whole campaign, Safola, Safola step up for your heart, mm -hmm. climb 50 stairs a day, reduce the risk by 20%. So oh. that's the whole idea. Okay. And, and you know, also on World Heart Day, there are a range of brands that kind of come up with campaigns from insurance to healthy oils. What really gives uh, Safola the edge? And if you really to say, um, if, if a consumer is thinking about healthy living, do you think Safola would uh, come as the top five go-to brands for their sake? So, I'll tell you what gives Safola the right to talk about it is that, you know, for the decades the brand has been doing that and the kind of advertisements, the kind of awareness campaigns that happen uh, that has been happening consistently on the brand has actually given the brand the right to talk about it above all mm -hmm. and uh, that is what we are continuing as a legacy and because we have products which ensure that your risk of cholesterol etc work out really really well and because we have those product offerings we can actually talk with complete authority that you know we are offering you ways and means to you know keep the whole heart health in control and hence we have the right to talk about it consumers recognize for it for over the years we have been doing it and that's what we'll be continue to do do and, and how are you going to market this particular campaign which are the mediums that are going to take up a bulk of your spends right so this is a campaign that we want to sustain for a long time so we are going across mediums tv being the mass medium we have tied up with four channels over there four marquee channels like star z Colors, Sony, we have tied up with all four of them where their lead actors are supporting it along with Ronit Roy who has been the driving factor in this whole campaign who himself is a fitness freak if you see. Um, apart from that, we are going hugely digital mm -hmm. wherein, you know, today everybody is on digital. It's uh, They're on Insta, they're on Facebook, they're on Reels and that's what we are capitalizing on. We are using influencers to drive the whole campaign. Above all, we are. this campaign is not just for the namesake. We want people to actually take the action. And that's where we are using AI mm -hmm. to help us in digital, to, you know, help us get people to take the action. So essentially, in a very interesting way, Ronit Roy, actually, with the help of AI, will be talking to people, helping them take those steps and even tell them how they have been doing, you know. Mm -hmm. So the whole ecosystem of mediums, whether it's print, whether it's television, whether it's digital, whether it's AI, 
we have just taken it all because we want every Indian to take those healthy steps, rose ka healthy steps. Interesting. So now, now there was a time when uh, you know brand, when a consumer would look at brand, the brands that are advertising majorly on mass media uh, had that you know that mental clearance uh, on product uh, safety and quality. Uh, but in the past few years, you've seen some of the biggest advertisers and some market leaders as well, uh, kind of uh, being accused of uh, compromising on their ingredients and in some cases having even cancer-causing ingredients in their products. Uh, on the other hand, the newer, the younger brands are being seen as the ones who are propagating that organic culture, uh, purer uh, ingredients, <coughs> natural ingredients. Now, as an Indian multinational company, how would you uh, kind of fight that kind of a perception? See, it's this. We enjoy consumers' trust. We have stood for quality over mm -hmm. the years and we promise to continue with that. That's all. <laughs> The brand has to be true to what it started with and that's what we do and that's what we'll consistently do. Deliver quality and not just quality of product, ensuring quality of life also to consumers. So that's the objective. We'll continue doing that. Okay. Now from body health, I think I'd like to come to hair health. Now over the past many years, I think hair fall has come uh, become one of the biggest causes of concerns for most of the women around there because of the kind of lifestyle that we lead and for years and I think for generations I think we used to turn to the good old coconut oil for rescue uh, but now we are seeing many many brands small brands or bigger brands also coming into the market uh, which are talking about how this one size fits all approach or doesn't really work and you should deep dive into the root cause of the problem like brands like Traya for example. Uh, how in that case, in, in such a scenario, is uh, so a brand like Parachute Advanced uh, Hair Fall Control Fairing and who really is the target audience for it? The way we look at it is that anybody who has a hair fall problem is the target audience, right? Uh, the unique thing about this product as we see is that it promises to reduce hair fall uh, within 30 days right it's all tested clinically tested and all and also helps you know grow new hair with all that data and the trust of parachute advanced we have come up with uh, this product and uh, yeah we 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 actually ensure like i said in the previous question as well that you asked that we stand for quality and we'll give only the best to the consumers the best part about this one is also that compared to the market this one is also available at a rate where consumers will find it you know accessible mm -hmm. so we are we have priced it in a way that we give the best quality also at the best price the so pricing is a differentiator yeah. uh, i would say quality mm -hmm. as well as the price not just one thing i mean we want every consumer to have great hair not to have those problems and to make it accessible yes Okay. This is also the festive season and I think you have a range of products for which you've come up with campaigns for. I think you also handle the Medicare and Nihar portfolio. Yes. Uh, tell us a little about how you're leveraging this festive season. So everybody wants to look beautiful. Our idea is that, you know, you cannot be beautiful in an instant. It mm -hmm. has to be a habit, right? So which is where even before any other festive uh, occasion has started we started long before the festivals actually hit in mm -hmm. and the whole idea is that start now so that you look great when actually the festival is there so like for example for our bengal um, durga, durga pujo we have nihar which is the leader over there and we are calling out you know be ready for durga pujo mm -hmm. be pujo ready with nihar because uh, regular usage of that gives you that beautiful hair that you want for the durga pujo to look beautiful um so uh, similarly we are having product offerings especially uh, on parachute jasmine which again gives you that lovely healthy shiny hair so all of these activations i mean the idea is that people start doing these now mm -hmm. so that they look beautiful at that point of time okay and uh, you know, you, in the past uh, few years, you've made a few acquisitions. I mean, Beardo, Just Herbs, overall on a uh, Madico portfolio. Which are the ones expected in the coming year, and which, especially in the Sephora range, and uh, which are the areas that really have potential, according to you? Actually, all our entire Madico, I would say, has a lot of potential. Whether you call about um, our hair oils portfolio with a whole value-added range, whether you talk about Sephora range of healthy foods. 
along with the healthy oils. I think each and every product in our company has a huge, huge potential. And which is the space that you can tap and in which may have a huge potential in the near future? As I said, all of them. Like some of them we are already discussing. I mean, how do we get uh, healthier oil into consumer households in terms of edibles to having a healthier snacking habit with Safola Foods range, which is about, you know, masala oats, etc., which can be a lovely healthy option mm -hmm. to breakfast, to your usual breakfast, uh, to a healthier snack with Safola Crunchies, to, um, uh, let's say, all the value-added hair oils, including the hair fall um, uh, product that we are talking about. So across what we are doing is we are tapping in all these need segments and um, ensuring that uh, these are the actual growth areas and we are tapping into that. Shortly after you joined uh, Marico, I think two, three years ago, I think uh, Janvi Kapoor had uh, what was brought on board as a brand ambassador for Fitify. Now, last year you brought on board uh, Alia uh, for Nihar, which is a portfolio that you handle. I want to understand from you, is getting <laughs> celebrities on board the, the best choice or is it a mixed bag? Uh, to give you an example, I think uh, I saw of uh, Ganguly when he suffered a heart attack. Uh, the brand, uh, the Healthy Oils brand that he was endorsing suffered a massive backlash and you of, of course Safola has a great big range of Healthy Oils. So do you think, uh, you know, collaborations with celebrities and brand ambassadors is a great choice for a health brand? First of all, I would say for each his own. Secondly, I would say that uh, brands themselves are celebrities, right? Mm -hmm. uh, brands do stand on their own legs. Wherever required to get that uh, leg up, we do use the relevant celebrities and I think Mariko has never really gone wrong on that because look at what um, uh, Vidya Balan had done for our brand Nihar, which always stood for, you know, not just Abla based beautiful hair oil, but also stood for that 5% of our profit going into the education of children and mm -hmm. she was the perfect brand ambassador for that, right? So, um, I mean, I think we have always been right about our choices and uh, we'll stay true to that to wherever the relevant brand opportunity comes in. Okay, and one last question and because we are talking about brand ambassadors, I think you are the biggest brand ambassador for <laughs> Sephola. So, I want to understand from you, what, how has leading a healthy oil brand brought about a transformation in your life and which are the Sephola products that we will find in your kitchen or home overall? Right. No, actually, after joining Marico, you know, everybody seems to be super healthy, like <laughs> very, very health conscious, starting right from Shogato to entire CXO team to my entire team. I mean, everybody seems to be a serious health freak and that definitely has brought about changes in my own lifestyle, especially with Safola also entering into my life. So one of the things, for example, this meeting is happening on the fourth floor, right? A lot of meetings happening happen on the fourth floor. I have my office on the seventh floor. Mm -hmm. One thing as a habit I have started doing and especially after getting this whole data about 50 steps, steps a day yeah. and that is 72 steps, okay, I counted that. <laughs> now, every time I try to take those stairs instead of now taking the elevator, unless I have to rush to another meeting on the seventh floor. So that's one thing I have done in terms of, you know, lifestyle change because there can be no excuse to say that because you're working, working late hours, you cannot do it. I don't think so. It's a lame excuse. <laughs> Just go through the step up challenge and <laughs> do it right in your office as well. Second is in my kitchen. I mean, edible oil is only Safola, particularly Safola Total. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of snacking, you would always have the muesli and the crunchies present. And particularly for my daughter and handling her nakras, she's a 70-year-old, 17-year-old, <laughs> and um, she prefers safola masala oats. Okay. Yeah. So, I have to have a set of that at home. Yeah. Okay. So, may, may safola continue to inspire you and may you continue to inspire all uh -huh. of us. Thank you so much, Shoma, for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure and uh, wish you all the very best too. Yes. Thank okay. you.